Now it's Musa. Oh, what a hit! Musa. All the way from Phoenix. This ball does not move. Watch the rotation. Good first touch, second gets it out in front of him. Just picks out that bottom corner. It is as still as it can possibly be. However, Phoenix looking quite nice in the final third. Musa for Dom on the first time! It's a long distance connection dialed up by Musa and answered by Adam John. Naga lays it off, Solomon Asante. Switch to the point of attack. Fleming looking to go into the path of James Musa. Musa, great first touch. Here's Musa! Oh. Vision by Junior Fleming to recognize the back line and separate it. It's a quick little touch out in front and then the beautiful finish on the left foot. Three wanting an offside call. Not going to get it. Musa lets. Could this be a third? It's Asante! Oh, oh that's excellent! In, you know, positive run of form, and they were growing pains. Everybody wanted him. They, they had his head on a platter. They felt like, look, this isn't the way we want to go. We want to go back to the old ways. All for John. Push there, but Musa pulls on the ball. Mandiola trying to swallow that up. Here comes Phoenix into the final third. Kalee Street cutting it in front. Right. This is what Phoenix has been able to do over this now. Phoenix game winning streak. Kalee Street the other way. There could be a seven. Kalee Street goes better. Now it's Musa. Save by. Here goes Santi Moar. This looks familiar. But James Musa with a sliding challenge. Devon Freider stood up by James Musa beautifully. Dose. The bottom of that barrel. The recovery recently. Good sliding challenge from James Musa. Vaccaro, good skill. Aguinaga trying to poke it back for Dia. Good work. Scoring their opponents 31 to 7. Counting this match over their past nine contests. Major contact. 4 3 and 1 all time. However, their last win almost two years ago. Second, and that was in Tulsa. And their record on the road. Doesn't fall for. Musa puts in a great challenge. Feisty. And a Cabrera. Tom slash Jackson for more information. The ball a bit more fluidly. Their focal points, though. First goal of the season for Musa will do you one better. Good build up play from Tulsa, but broken up by James Musa. Phoenix give it right back. Aguinaga back for defensive responsibilities. On a play, he did everything right. Even she just got it wrong. Asante back for James Musa. Look at all the space that Phoenix are able to create again. Through for Solomon. Tracking back. And a lot of times you'll see out of uh, Nate Hauser and the, the Baker crew up there do a good job. I know he's a two time All American in the NAIA. It's a very, very good NAIA program. It's cleared away. Athletic move from Shannon Gomez. Sacramento has a chance to break. Sam Warner couldn't cut it in fast enough. Could be Enriquez on the move again. But first watch the daytime cafe. James Musa switching the point of attack. That fourth grandstand shaded. Light poles were added in February, the second half. Heavily rotated lineup. Over a half dozen changes. Sit from him. Center referee tonight is Malik Badawi with Francisco Bermudez and Jeremy. We the game certainly has settled in as we push forward here. Musa puts it out wide. Hassle, no pressure, and no nonsense. Sanderson Ford is America's most awarded Ford dealership for customer service. Oh, oh, back of Phoenix. Well, with their press. Well, we're officially underway in the second half as another. You know, it's been one of their biggest problems this season. Now, home much better. At home, they're sitting at a plus seven. Champion.
Dome just silences this crowd. Well done. Musa going long the other way for Vaccaro. Almost expecting the referee to do them a favor, not the case. Musa entry into JJ. Room to work with. But a shot is blocked in front. Great sliding challenge. It was Jamal Jack. Amadou Dia delivery in, looking for John. It's too. Where you overlock and you come straight onto it. It hurts. It has Phoenix rising. They look forward to having them at. Uh... Well, the problem is, is the big one right there. Spencer. I can do differently. I said run at these guys. Really turn it up. And Against, against hot teams, and you know, when you play against the you do want to take the air out of the game as much as possible. Ooh, goodness gracious. Poor Ryan. Poor Ryan. Uh, Adams gets a foot to it. Gordon is coming back to help defense. Worth noting that Phoenix Rising have the win on their side. Musa escapes from a couple defenders. Now it's Kalistri. Kalistri back to Aguinaga. Those of you listening on the radio, it's on the right side of the north end here at Casino Arizona Field, and it is just a fog of red smoke. As another first time delivery comes across. Holding possession a bit more. If they can start to get the overlapping runs on the outside in here, that was 2017. Probably every a handball not going to be given. Jose Aguinaga trying to win it back for Phoenix. Able to do so, Musa. Colin Masante was hoping that that might fall for him. Here's James Musa. He can't strike it from there. We've already. They just haven't been able to catch with the number nine up top. So the middle is becoming a. By Musa. So evident we, with John coming into the midfield. There he is. The man turn over there. John can rip to the ball. Junior Flemings has come into the game for Phoenix. Pennsylvania native Joey Farrell. Great first touch from Solomon Asante. James Musa is going to spray it out wide. center back, split the center backs, get the full backs further up the pitch. Brooks Lennon just a, another example. Well, especially for you youngsters out there, Matt, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this, which is having an open mind, not only in life, but especially in football when it comes to positions, because Brooks Lennon came in as a forward and was transformed to this fantastic outside back, and especially attacking players are, are great pieces to have along the back line because they're technical, they can play out of the back but it just held her and even trickling into October. But then once he got to the postseason, scoring two. Keeper competition between both Lubin and Carl Wazinski. And, you know, it's an interesting goalkeeper situation. Matt, I know that that's where your expertise these lie. Usually you'll have a veteran and a youngster going after it, but these are two veterans who... I think it's a chance to materialize. Came off the right. Like, and that's the worry where... Flag down because it could obviously, if it results in a goal, it can McCry like to find the back of the net. Severino just needs to delay his run a little bit. Just think from the, the Timbers, you get into their minds a little bit. What well, they'll be thinking from the three points 19 9 and 6. Made it to USL Cup. And they lost 1 0 at Louisville City. Love the pitch. Musa gets around Shara. 